Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And here I have an article for you guys from datacenterdynamics.com. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys may check it out. So this was desperately needed. I know we already discussed this on the day of the article actually dropping. But now I wanted to, now that I feel better, I wanted to speak more in depth about the area and, and what's to come. And there's also a bit more detail in this article I actually went to the site where they're starting to build one of the new sites. So I, I, I'm familiar now. And there's nine more to come. So we'll, we'll discuss that in this article. You guys will see that here. Um, give me one second. Let me just locate that. There it is. Verizon will work with the Army and Air Force Exchange Service, AFES, and Boulder Networks to deploy 10 ma macros uh, uh, towers enabling more robust coverage across the base talking about fort bliss so the reason this is desperately needed so just to give you some background fort bliss is the second largest uh base by population size and i think they are the largest if we're talking just how big it is the the, the square miles of the base they they are the largest a base in the United States, and, and I think they are the second largest by population behind uh, Fort Liberty, Liberty in uh, North Carolina. So there's anywhere at all times just soldiers and families between 12 to 20,000. That doesn't include any of the civilian employees across the base, which there are a ton. You know, all of the, the, the stores, the, the Burger Kings, all of those have civilian employees. So there's a lot of traffic that needs to be handled by networks. And Verizon being the only carrier that has care to adequate, adequately build anything across the base has led to them having the largest share across pretty much the, the, the base at any time. And I know population is always changing. You know, the, 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 there's always different people moving in and out, but they're all using Verizon. So Verizon is running around trying to serve customers on the base, including civilians, because they've seen like, hey, we're we're new, we're newly working here and we're using AT&T and T-Mobile and it just doesn't work. So they end up switching to Verizon. So now Verizon has to support all these customers on a network currently that's just not ready. You know, I'll be honest, they they densified a little bit. But none of those, uh, I think there's like six towers in total that Verizon has across the base currently. They don't have C-band. They don't have CBRS. They don't have one fiber MCI. So you can, you know, you can take a guess that, that those sites are struggling right now. The last time I tested Verizon, they, they were doing like seven, eight megabits during the day. In some cases, even slower. Just to give you some perspective. So now, Verizon, with this investment... I've been hearing as well, all of the existing sites that are already on the base will get C-band and CBRS. So that's already a huge deal. And now Verizon is going to add 10 new towers across the base. So that's going to mean better capacity as technology moves forward. Verizon can, can move forward. You know, maybe they do FWA on the base. I don't know how that will work, but maybe they can. Maybe they will. Now you can... You know, you can support missions through the through the government agencies that you support that are on the base. So this this has many implications here, huge implications for the future of where Verizon is heading with the government. T-Mobile is also doing some, so I don't want to discredit any other carrier. AT&T is building out small cells at this time on the base. And T-Mobile is converting the Sprint sites. But at the end of the day, I don't think any of those deployments will be as impactful as this additional $1 million uh, that Verizon is investing to, to, to get those 10 new sites on the, on the base. So, you know, I'm very familiar with the area. Root Metrics does not test anything on the base. If you look at their map of the testing areas for El Paso, you will see on there Fort Bliss is skipped. So Verizon has been struggling for a long time on capacity, 
They've had the coverage. They just struggle with capacity. But that's now getting fixed. Also, another thing that I want to point out, and I saw maybe I saw this on another article, but Verizon has about, I think, two to three months to build those sites. So this is going to happen really quickly. You know, and I don't know if that's even realistic, but I, I saw somewhere, I don't know if it was this article, there were several articles released that said all of this construction starts within, you know, a month or two. So it might actually take longer for the sites to be fully built and constructed and turned on. But this is a, this is a good partnership with uh, Bolden Networks. Um, they're going to support this deployment as well. So the fact that this is already announced, they already know how many, they already know the amount. That means this has been in the works for a while behind the scenes. And this means all of their ducks should be in a row and they should be able to just, you know, deploy, 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 deploy moving forward, which will make a better experience for everyone, for the, for the soldiers, the units and their missions, the families across Fort Bliss, and also the civilian employees that play an impactful role and all of the other agencies like MWR and everything else that exists, it will make everybody's job that much easier because of this investment. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like, share, subscribe if you're new. Follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. See y'all in the next one. Peace.